Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. So it's been a while since my last video but I have had the lurgy and my voice has been sounding like a cross between Barry Wright and a bag full of gravel being poured over a Johnny Cash convention. It's quite gravelly. So I have got myself the Ender 3 version 3 SE. Lots of wonderful letters there. And yeah, I'm enjoying it and I've enjoyed building it. See my video link there. But I thought, hey, one of my most popular videos was how to connect your Ender 3 to your PC. And I thought, you know what? Let's see if that has changed at all since the Ender 3 version 1, which I did it with way back in the day. And now on the Ender 3 version 3. So I have connected this up. I have put it into Cura, made sure I've got all the settings right, made sure I've got all the right profiles of this new printer. And I'm going to test to make sure it still stays the same and that you can print directly from Cura straight to your Ender 3 with no need for SD cards, swapping USB nonsense, or just basically messing around. Just one cable straight into it, print it off, no issues. So, before we do that, however, thanks to everyone who's liked and subscribed. It's really great to see you all. Welcome to the 3D Printed Network, which is 3D Printed Soup. Make sure your USB-C is jammed into your sockets, and let's go ahead and try this out. So, let's get on and test out how we get your Ender 3, version 3, to print directly from your printer without an SD card or USB card. It's black magic. No, it's not. It's science. Let's give this a try. What you will need. An Ender 3 version 3 SE, a PC, a USB-C cable, and the latest version of Cura. Next, plug your USB-C cable in. If you haven't got USB-C, USB regular to USB-C will do fine. Then go ahead and plug it into your printer's USB-C socket. Then turn your printer on and allow it to boot up. With the hardware set up, you just need to set up the software. So go into settings, find your uh, printer, in this case the Creality Ender 3 version 3 SE. It will be under the non Ultimaker printers. Give it a click and that will set it up and then it will be ready to run. Then click on the monitor section and you can now start controlling your printer from your PC. So yeah, you can click home and it just automatically homes. And you can just adjust how you want things to uh, go. You can adjust um, the Z, the X and the Y, move it around the place. And just generally set up anything you need to set up from here, as well as the temperature of the hotbed and also the temperature of the nozzle. I mean, there's not a huge amount of settings on here that you can monkey around with um, with the default Cura, but it should be all you need to uh, attach your printer to your PC and start printing directly without having to use USB or without having to use an SD card. And see, so, yeah, I'm just just moving it around, and uh, if you change the uh, number of millimeters it moves from 10 to say 100, you can move it a lot faster and a lot quicker. And with that going, you just print straight from your computer. So you don't need a uh, dongle, you don't need any kind of SD card, just print straight down the cable, straight into your Creality Ender 3 version 3. And you can't really change anything from the printer, so it's all controlled from the PC itself, so the printer's display just sits there dormant. And then it just prints straight off as if you were printing it from a normal SD card. As you can see here, you can see the temperatures, but you can't see anything else. So yeah, this came out really, really nicely. And it printed straight from my PC to my Ender 3 without needing to be connected to anything else and without having to have any USB or SD cards chucked straight into it. What cuts out a whole pain in the ass of slicing, taking it out, plugging it in. And for a non-network printer, it's great to be able to do that because yes, you can mess around with OctoPrint and get it set up wirelessly, but not everyone has a single board computer or wants to buy one and not everyone wants to mess around with OctoPrint getting all the settings right to let you print wirelessly when you can just run a cable. And quite frankly at the end of the day, 
There's nothing wrong with running a cable. Well, this is lovely, but hey, live like the 90s. Attach a printer via a cable. So yeah, Jurassic Park Snowflake came out wonderfully. I'm going to hang this on my tree. My daughter will love it. So yeah, thanks for watching 3D Printed Soup. Hope this is informative and that you enjoyed this little uh, how-to video. Let me know if you want any more how-to videos or what you want to know. Stay happy and safe, and if I don't speak to you before, Merry Christmas.